Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a salary structure floating bar chart. Um, as a human resource professional, um, it is very common that you would be using a salary structure range, which is essentially um, the recommended compensation level for all the jobs in all levels in the company. So um, today I'm going to show you based on a table that you're given or you want to create, how do we create a chart where we have all the job levels at the bottom and then we show the mean, uh, mid and max for the pay range of each of the levels. So the first thing you need to do is to create a table in this format. Um, and one thing you need to note is that uh, the max, the the row with the highest value needs to stay on the top. And I'll show you why. And then next you select the data range with the headers um, and go to recommended chart. And the one that you want to select is clustered column chart. So you go to OK. It will give you a chart. Um, one trick I want to share with you is that you can move, actually move the chart to a new sheet, uh, which makes it look bigger and nicer. Um, the next thing you want to do um, is to select any of those um, data uh, series, go to format, and then on the right with data overlap, bring everything to 100%. And this way you have all the three bars all overlapped into one. Um, you can also adjust the gap width, uh, width which um, can narrow the gap between your bars. Uh, but it's not required. So that's um, now you have all the bars. Um, the next thing you can do is to select the lowest one, uh, the minimum, um, and then go to format, go to fill, and select white. So you can see all the ones become white. Um, you might also notice that you would have the grid line um, here it doesn't look nice when you have the white part. Um, the trick here is to delete them. Therefore, you can only have the floating chart here. Um, you can also change the color of the um, of your bars as you wish. For example, this one maybe I want to change to a light blue. I can do that, um, and then you can add basically add the data label to all the. Um, to all the bars for the max, for the mid, um, and for the min. Yeah, and uh, here we go. So this is how a salary structure floating bar chart would look like.